Hey yo, what's up guys? It is me Zane back here with another video. I'm back. It's been three weeks, three long weeks. I know, I'm sorry. As promised, I did vlog while I was in LA. I finally compiled a vlog. For some reason, it took me a whole day. Maybe I'm just rusty on editing. But yeah, this seven minute, eight minute vlog took me the whole day to edit, which is kind of crazy. Just to give you a little heads up, I went to a bunch of flagship stores. I bought a bunch of clothes, checked out a bunch of places, and even met a couple celebrities. So stay tuned guys, do not miss anything. Uh, and yeah, let me know if you guys would like to see more vlogs and yeah, let's get on into it Okay, so it's currently 11 p.m. Monday, August the 2nd Pacific time. This is not Eastern. Eastern time would be like three hours ago So I'm kind of jet-lagged a little bit. I'm currently in Santa Barbara right now tomorrow I'm heading to Los Angeles I'm gonna be vlogging the whole day for y'all because you know, it's a really exciting place to be We got some exciting stuff planned for tomorrow We're gonna be hitting Rodeo Drive, the Golf Wank store, the Supreme store, and so many other stores I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me. I've not vlogged in such a long time and I'm really excited to get back into it. Alright, so I'm gonna go to sleep. I still have a two-hour drive to get to Los Angeles. So I'll see you in the morning. Alright guys, so I just just woke up. I know my voice sounds weird. This is just what I sound like when I wake up. Got the whole golf wing fit going on, you know. And we're about to make our way out of the hotel forever so that we can go to our next location, which is Los Angeles. Need 11 right now. We're gonna be going down at 8:30, so I guess I'll see you guys at Yeah. yeah. You know how I feel I'm in love with you still, yeah It helps, but it kills You're loving, you're loving It hurts, it heals It breaks, but it builds, ooh, yeah Your power and your will You're loving, that you love we're here. We're about to go on to Rodeo Drive. We got Saint Laurent, Alexander McQueen. Oh my god, who that movie? <laughs> <laughs> Ralph Lauren, Celine. Did you say Ralph Lauren? Shut the f shut it off. Shut it off. I swear to god. Ralph god. Laurent? Shut what the f do you want me shut to say? It it's Ralph Lauren. Lauren? Yeah. I would know he's called my ass. So we're right now on Rodeo Drive. I mean, it's not that busy, but hoping it gets busier. I don't know. We might see a celebrity, you never know. So eyes are on lock, you know. You have the worst YouTube fan. I'm probably not gonna buy anything, but you never know. I'm gonna look, but doubt it. All right, here's the iconic Rodeo Drive street. You might recognize this street. I, I was literally walking here in GTA like a couple of months ago, which is completely nuts, but all right, so we went into basically every store. We couldn't afford anything. There was nothing that was like on the market for us. I mean, socks costed like $400. Keychains costed, how much was it? Cost. Cost, sorry, cost, <laughs> whatever. You. Pins were like $8. It was kind of absurd. So we're probably going to be leaving empty handed, but we're going to go to Fairfax where there's a bunch of stores Supreme, Golf Wang, Rip and Dip, all these other things. So streetwear. streetwear. Yeah, more streetwear. So we're going to go see you guys down there. I'll be honest, Rodeo Drive is completely overhyped. <laughs> it's nothing crazy. But I mean, just for the vibe, I mean, it's I guess it's cool, but nothing crazy. Hey guys, Rock follow my YouTube channel. What's your YouTube channel? Wapangame right, style. Alright, so we're on Fairfax right now. We're making our way up Fairfax. I don't know if you guys can see right there, but there's the rip and dip sign. So it's pretty much just down here. I mean, it's pretty surreal being on the street because there's just like so much on it. So I guess I'll see y'all once we make our way up to Fairfax. Is this a line? Oh, it has to be. Is this it? That's for sure it. This is so surreal. Probably gonna get into for this, but there's a skating ball. This is just so surreal right now. I wonder if I can see from inside. Can't see much, but Just go back. we're about to go in right now. We're gonna go in the store, baby. Okay, yeah, I was wondering if I can get that one too. Do you have any other colors? Um, we have the blue one. Yeah, it's a powder blue. Okay, so I'll take that one. I just purchased something. Absolutely nuts. I couldn't film in there. I was so tempted to, but it's really sick. Alright, so we're in the Rip and Dip store right now. We're just checking it out. The only thing I can remember about this place is that Ethan and Ela Klein had a pop-up here with Teddy Fresh. So we're outside the Supreme store right now, Fairfax. I mean, I might cop something, I'm not too sure, but definitely interested because my friend went in and he said that it was all pretty cheap. So 
definitely down to resell things. That's the case. We just had a really successful day shopping. We got a bunch of sh Nate got Rip and Dip, Supreme, Golf. I got a golf tee, got another golf tee there, and I got a Supreme beanie. I'll show y'all everything I got once I'm in like my hotel room or something, but I'm really excited to show y'all what I got. But for now, we're just gonna walk around the Grove, gonna get some things, walk around, and I'll film if anything cool happens. Good eye. Well, I can see the... Can you see, see the, the owl? See the reflection. Damn. I didn't realize they had an OVO store here. No camera? Okay guys, so what happened next is pretty, pretty crazy. So we were on Hollywood Boulevard. We out here on Hollywood Boulevard. Right in front of the Chinese theater. Chinese theater. And me being me, I'm always having my eyes open, looking out for celebrities. And standing right in front of the Chinese theater is someone who I recognized right away. But I was so hesitant at first because he seemed like he was a tourist, if that makes sense. He was just kind of taking pictures of the Chinese theater, which I found pretty weird considering he's lived in LA for like five or six years. I feel like one of those, I feel like that guy's a viner. Oh, yeah, I do feel like I recognize him. I swear I do recognize him. Maybe only because he said that. I think it is. Wait, what? No, 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 they're going up to him. Wait, hold on, what the f Now the person that I'm talking about is Mark Doner. Now the name might not sound familiar at first, but I can assure you that you definitely know who he is. Mark Doner was Logan Paul's roommate back in his really, really early Vine days. They used to make a bunch of content together. You probably recognize him from Vine compilation. And unfortunately, he has kind of fell off, but he is definitely part of that Vine era. Now, at first, I didn't actually go up to him and say anything because I still was so hesitant. In fact, someone from my trip actually went up to him and did say something. So I was actually really happy she did because that meant I could take a picture with him or whatever. Now, for some reason, he filmed a TikTok with us to promote his song, but he never even posted it. But I still have footage from it. You guys just walk as if it's normal. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, and then I'll come up to like here and then maybe everybody get behind me. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that happened. After that, we kind of just chilled and walked around Hollywood Boulevard. I'll still show you some clips from that. And yeah, the rest of the footage that I got from that night, I was just uh, in my hotel room. One, two, three, four. One. Behind me, we got Jimmy Kimmel Studio. Okay guys, so we just came back from our massive day. We just arrived at our hotel. It's pretty nice. We copped a lot today. A lot, a lot of stuff. I'll show you guys what we got right now. I'm not sure if I actually got a lot of footage or this vlog is going to be any good. I mean, I was just kind of focusing on actually enjoying myself. And of course, I wasn't allowed to record in many stores, so that kind of limited my ability to, I guess, film a lot of stuff. Of course, you couldn't film in the Golf Wang store at all. It was very, very strict. And in the Supreme store, you couldn't, as well as, oh yeah, the OVO store, you couldn't film there. So, I mean, I'm not sure how this vlog is gonna turn out. I might not even upload it, but I probably will, because I spent a lot of time on it. Very exciting day. I'll show you guys what I got right now. So I got all the things that I got today laid out on the bed. I guess I'll start off with the Golf Wang, because I'm definitely very excited about that. Okay, so the first thing that we got in here, we got, Call me if you get lost tea. We got this in a powder blue. We got the licensed tea right here, as you guys can see right there. This didn't actually cost a lot. This only costed like 30 bucks. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take it out of the packaging just yet, but I might, I might, we'll see. As you guys can see, it has the call me if you get lost tag printed on there, really, really nice. This is my only piece of, of Call Me If You Get Lost merch so far. Tyler just announced that he's going on tour today, so I might get some more things if I do go to the concert, which I probably will. But yeah, pretty stoked about this. I just want to tell you guys about the Golf Wank store. I mean, it definitely lives up to the hype. It was definitely better than what I expected it to be. I mean, it was pretty insane. The decor is so nice. Um, everything about it is really, really cool. I also got a sticker. This sticker was $5. I mean, it's kind of pricey considering it's a sticker, but you know, still cool. And of course, came in this famous Golf Wang yellow bag. Next up, on to the Supreme item that I copped. I got this Supreme beanie. I'm actually really, really happy with it. I really, really like it, and I just actually put it on, and I think it looks pretty good. Came with two Supreme stickers, which is pretty cool. Of course, these have some sort of value. This actually cost me 38 US dollars. Of course, not including tax, but yeah. I mean, it's not bad considering it's Supreme, but you know, whatever, it's cool. Now onto the OVO. I mean, this was really, I was not planning to purchase anything from here. I didn't even know they had an OVO flagship store in LA. So I got this hoodie for $160. This was kind of a weird situation, but basically 
When I looked on the tag, it said $98, and even that was a little bit of a stretch for me. And I just thought to myself, okay, I'm not gonna be back here for a while, and so I'll just buy this, because why not? And then when I brought it up to the cash register or whatever, and I saw my total value, it said that this costed $168, and I didn't even have that much on me, but my friend paid for me, so which was really generous. And so now I have this orange hoodie. It's pretty nice. I might resell it because of how crazy expensive it is. And I wasn't really intending spending that much, but you kind of just tapped the card, and uh, that's what happened. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy with the pickups that I got today. Just the whole experience was really, really cool, um, and I'm very grateful for it. That's going to wrap it up for the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed this LA vlog, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace.